seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. All right, so we're on a road trip today. I live in Delaware, but I'm on my way to Pennsylvania. I got about a five and a half hour trip, and this is going to be kind of like my first vlog. So I'm taking you guys along with me. Stick in there. I'm going over the Bay Bridge right now, and this is taking forever. I'm roughly doing 20 miles an hour. Got some uh, great traveling weather. It's raining. Traffic is terrible. And. Let's see, we still got three hours left. So my GPS just literally took 30 minutes out of my way. I made a wrong turn, and instead of just having me turn around, like what I could have done, instead it took me 15 minutes in a different direction to do a U-turn, to turn around, and come back 15 minutes Man, that's frustrating. I, was, I just added 30 minutes to my overall time. It's crazy. Well, we'll just keep driving. Well, so far on this trip, I'm getting approximately 16 miles to the gallon. Uh, this is in my 7.3 uh, turbo diesel truck. So, 16 miles to the gallon is not bad. Um, I've been averaging for this last stretch probably 75 miles an hour and at 75 miles an hour I'm roughly 2200 RPMs so anything over 2000 RPMs you know you're not getting as good as gas miles as you could have uh, but I got approximately 86 miles left Woo! I can't wait I'll check in with you guys then see good. We're on a trip. Obviously, my battery's not charging right. And I'm approximately 27 minutes away. 25 miles, 27 minutes. So I'm really hoping that we can get there. I don't know what the problem is. Oh, man. It figures. Set on 60, 67, and it still won't come on. I don't know. Plenty. 
All right, so you might be wondering why I'm here. Well, I have a training conference uh, for work. So that's why I'm here. I drive six hours. I got problems with my truck. So I'm beat. And I think I'm going to go to bed. I'll check you guys out in the morning. All right, guys. So I'm sorry for having to add this little bit here in the end. Um, the ride home, um, lots of problems. So my camera died the the morning of, which I lost. So I lost that footage. It wasn't usable. Um, basically, what I had to do was I was in there for a class. Um, it was a training seminar. Um, those of you who are in the pipeline in industry would understand it's called Veriforce. It's a training program uh, for safety and all that good stuff. But anyway, so the class was all day long. It was an eight-hour class, so. I got up at roughly 5 o'clock in the morning, and then my class started at 8, and then we got out of there around quarter of 4 or something like that. So after I got out of there, I went and checked my truck out to see what the problems were. Um, there was no auto park stores in the area, so I was really hoping that the truck was going to last a little bit longer. So I killed you know, air conditioning, I unhooked any sort of power that would not be necessary, and I was able to get roughly 40 more minutes out of my truck. It went from, I mean, a truck, these trucks should be around 13.5 volts in these trucks get two batteries, so um, it slowly started to drop, which in the beginning when I was on my way there, it was 11 and a half, and then slowly it crept down to 11, and then 10 and a half, and then I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do? So I Googled real quick, find a parts store. Luckily there was one about 15 miles away. And I got there, by the time I got there, I was just under 10 volts, which is not enough to start the vehicle, but it is enough to kind of keep it going. You start losing some accessories, uh, it starts kind of flashing at you, the truck just doesn't run right, it's not getting proper fuel, because the fuel pump runs on, on power. Anyway, um, I pull into the advanced auto parts and my truck dies. Literally, I pull in the parking spot and it dies. I was so fortunate. Uh, meanwhile, a storm is getting ready to come in, pretty nasty, and they uh, announce over the uh, radio, please get indoors. Well, so I'm sitting there in front of my truck in advanced auto parts. Luckily, they had the alternator. I had to replace the battery, so I had to pull my alternator off pull the battery off, you know, your belt, and change all that stuff. Luckily that fixed it, and I was very fortunate, and I got it all back in right before the storm hit. Um, and then I was on my way. And that was roughly around seven o'clock, um, seven o'clock last night, and I got home just before midnight. I think it was just before midnight. So I was very fortunate. The trip overall went well. Nothing really to note other than kind of scary when you're on the interstate and your battery and your truck's getting ready to go kaput. Well, it was actually my ultimate, not my battery. But anyway, um, but this, if you don't watch my channel, you probably don't understand what I'm talking about, but um, this kind of brought up, gave me some ideas for videos, and I'm getting ready to do a video of pros and cons of owning a 7.3 turbo diesel truck, so an F3, F250, F350, whatever you got, um, 7.3, so it gave me some uh, pros and cons of some things that uh, might be useful. I learned some things, um, I've never really had a problem with the truck, I, I tested, I know some of you guys say, well you should test your stuff, go over. I did, I did an alternator test and a battery test right before I went, well not, not the day of, about a week prior, I checked my alternator and battery and everything came back fine. I would not have assumed this would have been a problem. I don't know, I, I don't know if there was some other thing else that happened that just made the alternator. It didn't go poof, just done. It slowly lo lost, um, you know, whatever an alternator does, makes charge or whatever. But I just wanted to update you guys. I'm sorry that I couldn't get any more footage out of it. Um, it was kind of a nightmare on the way home. This is about a five and a half hour trip. It took me. Let's see. I'm in my office right now, so you know, I got all this stuff behind me. I got a bunch of there. There's not very much uh, clean space in here. I got so much stuff. Um, but 
it roughly a five and a half hour trip took me almost eight hours. So I was down for about an hour and a half changing out the alternator and stuff like that. I didn't have all the tools necessary with me. Luckily the people are there at advance, they helped me out and gave me the stuff I needed. Um, so they work with me pretty well. I don't even remember what town I was in when it happened. Um, somewhere in Pennsylvania. That's all I know. My class was in Pittsburgh. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. And until next time, guys. See you.